Here we want to find the biggest number that you can divide into 42 and 126 and 210. The greatest common factor, the greatest common divisor is another term for it. The biggest number by which each of these is divisible. Well, how do you do that? If we had simple numbers here, let's say, let's say 8 and 12. What's the biggest number by which they are both divisible? Well, 4. 8 divided by 4, 12 divided by 4. That's the biggest number. That's not too tough, but how about big numbers like these, 42, 126, 210? Well, we can go through a three-step process here. The first step is to break down each of these numbers into a factor tree. And with factor trees, we're looking for prime numbers. Little review on prime numbers. Prime numbers, I'll write a number sign. The ones you always have to remember are 2, 3, 5, and 7. Prime numbers, numbers that can only be divided by 1 and the number itself. So 2 is 1 times 2, 3 it's 1 times 3, 5, 1 times 5, 1 times 7. Those numbers not divisible by any other number. And there are an infinite number of these, 11, 13, we could go on into infinity. But the ones to really memorize, 2, 3, 5, 7. So let's create our factor trees. 42, we'll start with the smallest prime number, 2. 2 times 21. All right, and then how about 21? The next biggest prime number is 3. 3 times 7. 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. That's the factor tree. How about 126? 2 times 63. And we can break down 63. That is 3 times 21. And we can break that down. That is 3 times 7. And those are all our prime numbers. How about 210? Quickest way to do this one is probably 10 times 21. 10 is 2 times 5. 21 is 3 times 7. So that's the first step. Create the factor trees. So 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. 126 is 2 times 3 times 3 again times 7. And 210 2 times, we'll do these in order from low to high, 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now let me pause right there. This is clearly taking a lot of time, but it's an important lesson. We can then find a quicker way to get to the right answer. But step one, create the factor tree. Step two, let's circle the factors that each of these numbers has in common. So for example, each of them is divisible by 2. Each is divisible by 2. How about 3? 1, 2, yep, they're all divisible by 3. How about 7? Yes, they are all divisible by 7. Step 2 was to circle the prime factors they had in common. Step 3, we're going to multiply these numbers together to find what? The greatest number that you can divide into 42, 126, and 210. Greatest factor that these numbers have in common. The numbers we're multiplying together, 2 times 3 times 7. The greatest common factor is actually 42. It's actually one of the numbers up here. That's the longest, most formal way to do it, so to speak. But of course here, what's the easiest way to do it? Try the answer choices. It's usually a good idea to start with answer B or answer D, and then see if you want to go higher or lower. And the answer here, 42. Greatest common factor can be a little confusing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. If you found this explanation helpful, be sure to click the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button so you'll get an alert every time we post another explanation. See you in the next video.